president getting bigger this morning. Ohio Governor John Kasich is expected to add his name to the list of those running in 2016. Joining us now is uh, KUSI's political analyst, John Dady. Nice to see you, John. Good morning. All the way from L.A. Now we're both here in San Diego. Glad right. you know. So tell me your, your impressions of the field, and especially now that John has entered the race. Well, specifically today, what's happening is Ohio Governor John Kasich is going to jump in. And one of the main reasons why he's jumping in at this particular point is he's hoping to get that bump that will put him into the first debate. Keep in mind, the first debate is in his home state, Ohio. So if he's not in the top 10, it'll be very embarrassing. Right now, he's number 12. Well, here's the thing. How do you get attention when the attention guy, Donald Trump, is getting all the attention? He's sucking all the He's oxygen. Sucking out. all the oxygen out of the room. Yeah. Well, again, uh, like I said, Kasich is doing the uh, the announcement today. What everybody is hoping for is a bump. The ones who got the two biggest bump was Jeb Bush, got a double digit bump. Sure. But keep in mind, Trump, before he announced, was at 2%. Right. Now he's at 18%. So Kasich, again, all he wants is enough bump to get, to get into that top 10. Now, he's got, he's got a great record of being able to solve problems in Ohio. He's, he, he's got a great reputation there. But can it extend nationally? Does he have enough juice to do that? Well, that's always the question. But keep in mind, historically, I don't want to say some of our best presidents, but a good qualification for president is being governor. Sure. Uh, usually, you know, uh, that because it's a chief executive type position, unlike Senate or Congress. Now, keep in mind also another important ingredient for Kasich is that he comes from Ohio, a, a swing right. state, number one, and he's a Republican in a state that could go either way. So similar to Christie, he's saying how he can get votes on the other side. All right. So what is what is going to be his top uh, vote getting uh, uh, attraction. What's why are voters going to vote for John Kasich? Well, his main platform is going to be the economy that he's turned to, uh, Ohio around, that he's done some specific programs right. that have brought the economy around. So that's going to be his calling card. Right after his announcement today, he starts the swing through uh, South Carolina, through New Hampshire, and through Iowa. So his eight million dollar, uh, eight billion dollar budget shortfall that he closed that gap, which is is an important thing when you consider the way the state of California is run. So he can run on that. But again, I go back to Donald Trump. So what does he need to do? Insult a uh, senator like McCain or somebody to get some attention? Because the problem is, it seems like the focus is not on a guy like Kasich. Right now, I think the strategy of most of the uh, candidates, with the exception of Mr. Trump, is to get in that top 10. Mm -hmm. And then they know that Trump's going to steal the show. They know <laughs> that he's going to probably zing each one of them individually, et cetera. Yeah. So all a Kasich wants, or any of the others, is to get in that top 10, survive, basically. And then there's a second debate shortly thereafter. If they do that, they want to get what they call in politics the mighty mo, get the momentum going. Sure. And th th they can't do that if they're not in that top 10. Now, keep in mind, when I keep talking about the top 10, there are some credible names, Carly Fiorina, et cetera, that may not be in that top 10. And that's going to be a little embarrassing, I think, for the Republicans. Kasich does have the advantage of having a lot of media experience, so he's really good in front of a camera. Absolutely. He was in Congress for almost two decades. Uh, I've met him several times when he was out here with uh, former Congressman Bill Bray. Mm -hmm. uh, he was, they were a big supporter of his. So, uh, absolutely. This is a guy, pretty, pretty sharp guy. Rinse, interesting article this week. When you start to become a name, mm -hmm. you know the negatives come out. Absolutely. Big article this week about his temper. He's famous right. for blowing up, including supporters. If he doesn't temper that, he could blow up in a debate. Doesn't seem, doesn't be, seem to be hurting anybody else but, but him, but that was a big headline this week. Well, I think it hurts Christie a little bit in the sense that I've always said when people talk about Christie and he brags about his persona, I always say what plays in New Jersey might not play in the rest of the country. Do the Republicans have a chance against uh, Hillary? Oh, absolutely. You oh, yeah. So? Well, once it's the nominees, it's going to come down to pure strategy, you know, without a doubt. Keep in mind, as far as the primaries, in 2007, Nobody heard of Barack Obama. Yeah, that's Every, true. That's everybody true. was saying exactly what they're saying now is that it's Hillary's on a silver platter period. We all know what history happened <laughs> in history. You can't wait for that first debate. It'll be interesting to see. August 6th. Yeah, okay. Thanks very much. Nice having you here with us. Good to see you, Carl.